If your lawn's been neglected or suffered over the summer months, it's likely to need some kind of repair and rejuvenation. Those lawns that we renovate annually always produce the best results. And although renovation can be carried out at any time of year, as long as there's warmth and moisture, we prefer the autumn because the soil's nice and warm too. In our 16 years experience, we know that those lawns that are renovated always look the best. So aeration, scarification and overseeding. Here's how we do it. Over winter a lot of lawns will develop bare areas and the best way to deal with those is to overseed them. If they're not too big we can do those by hand which is what I'm going to do here. You can see this is taking a lot of the old surface thatch and loose grass out and that's the stuff that's going to stop the seed germinating. What we want is that good contact with the soil and therefore good moisture and that makes the seed crack germinate nicely in 14 to 21 days. So now I'm just uh, going to rake through some of this seed into the soil before I put a final layer of dressing over the top. Now the dressing we use is a green manure. It's great for moisture retention and moisture is the key to germination. To finish off, I'm just gonna loot that off and all this does is level the soil off so that when your seed germinates, your lawn is level rather than bumpy. There's a number of reasons that we aerate a lawn. One is to relieve compaction, two is to create unimpeded root growth channels, vertical channels in the soil, um, and the third one is to get air and water down into the soil profile. Uh, today we're going to be using some hollow cores that are going to take plugs out of the soil and that's also going to have the added benefit that we're going to get some seed down those channels as well. We're going to scarify this lawn now. Um, two reasons for scarifying. One is to remove the thatch that you saw in some of those cores. The uh, vertical blades will scrape through the surface of the soil and remove a high percentage of that. The other reason is to um, cut any stoloniferous grasses. By stoloniferous, I mean the, the grasses that send shoots out across the surface of the soil. The blades will cut through those and encourage them to re-sprout and thicken your lawn. For those lawns that are not heavy in thatch and that still have bare areas and we need to seed, we have our seed slotter machine which puts lots and lots of little tiny holes in the lawn ready to receive the seed when we spread it over the lawn. So whatever the state of your lawn, we can help. Strike up a partnership with us, you do the mowing and the watering and leave the rest to us. Lawns One, we're the most highly rated independent lawn care experts in the southeast.